Hello guys, welcome back to Sure Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix game controller is not working or gamepad is not working for farming simulator and how you can fix this up. So the first step is all about you just have to click on the game. So you just have to play the game and you have to make a few changes on the game settings. So I'm going to demonstrate you guys that. So uh, once the game is turned on, so you just have to make a few changes on the game. Like you have to enable something and you just have to disable something so let's move to it so now as you can see the game is being on so we're gonna show that to you guys okay skip this part so over here you just have to go to options and from here under general settings there is an option called gamepad or steering wheel so you just have to make sure this is turn it on so this is turn it on so once it is turn it on make sure this is up if it is turn it off then you're going to change turn it on you'll be having an option called apply so I have made this to turn it on so you just have to go back then I just have to play the game and you have to try whether it's gonna fix the issue so if it's not gonna fix the issue then you just have to quit the game then you just have to follow the next instruction so next instruction is all about you have to navigate to where the game is installed so uh, my game is installed on uh, this PC it is on local disk D so I just have to go over here go to program files from here I have to click on Steam now from here I just have to click on uh, steam client now from here I just have to go to steam apps go for common and I'll be able to find farming simulator over here just open this and there is in a file called XML document for when you try to, when you install the game so you just have to right click on this one select this one right click and go over here and go to open with and go for notepad now over here at the top you can see that uh, as you can see if, if you go over here you'll be getting an option like uh, the following the option is uh, as you can see the gamepad is enabled so you just have to find it over here so uh, where the gamepad is enabled so guys as you can see we are having keyboard enabled over here and also we have mouse enabled and we have joystick enabled so uh, depending on what you are using you just have to change this as you can see these all change into true and in some cases what happens is this will be like false okay this will be like this is not in the way so it will be like uh, false so if it is false then you just have to change this now as you can see this is uh, joystick is for example joystick is enabled as false so if it is false you just have to change this into true and you have to change the same for mouse enabled same for keyboard enabled and even if you're having controller you can do the same so uh, this is where you have to check out if you are on the joystick you have to make a change here if you're on the mouse make a change and if you're on the keyboard you have to change here right now i have made this and make sure that all these things are true and if it is false you have to change this go over here and save this up and you have to what you have to do is you just have to uh, delete i mean sorry you just have to try to play the game and even after it's not working then we just have to move to the second one second one is all about deleting files profile input template folder so to do this you just have to go to where the game is installed as you said i have installed the game on this pc local disk d and if i go to program file steam steam client steam apps common and farming simulator over here as you can see we are having in a folder called profile template you just have to open this now as you can see there are some uh, xml document with input binding default input binding default joystick input binding default keyboard input uh, define all those things you just have to select each one of these you have to select each one of these and you just have to delete this one so before deleting this you just have to copy paste all these things and you have to make a backup for example select these okay you have to select these and uh, copy this and you have to paste somewhere over here in the desktop or somewhere else you can paste here by keeping a folder called backup because sometimes if you delete it won't work in the correct way so you just have to make sure that you're having a backup so i made a backup then you just go to the uh, folder here just delete and see whether you are able to play and if you're not able to play then you just have to copy paste the same over here and that is not the fix you just have to go for the next one so next one is all about you have a if you're on a the game is i mean the steam is from the game is from a non-steam then you just have to add the game over here so you can add a non-steam game so you can select the, where the game is and you can just install the game and you have to see whether you are done with the solution or not and most probably by adding this this is going to help you guys out so this is what you have to do and moving on next is all about you have to check in between over here in the steam you just have to go over here in the controller now from here what you have to do is uh, you just have to go over here and you just have to move this up and go to controller and over here what you have to do is you just have to go to general controller setting 
Now this is gonna take you to this and here as you can see that you just have to make sure where which one is correct over here. For example, if you are on uh, the PlayStation, make this is enabled. If you are on the Xbox, make this is enabled. So this is also very important. And we'll be getting a message like controller is detected. So you just have to go in that way too. Now you just have to go back. Now from here, once it is done, you just have to follow the next one. Next one is all about you have to disable uh, the Steam input. And to do this, you just have to go or select the farming simulator. And you just have to go to properties. Now from here, go to controller and over here. As you can see the override for farming simulator this is on use default settings you just have to select this one and change this to disable steam input this is what you have to do okay if you're having the error you have to change this too and most probably you have to try and this is going to help you guys out so uh we have to try with this one so this is also very important and even after trying this if it's still it's not working the next is all about you have to go over here at the top there is a big picture mode you have to click on this one so now as you can see this will take you to this to the big picture mode and over here you just have to make a few changes you just have to go to library you have to select farming simulator and over here we have an option called manage your game and there is an option called control options and now here as you can see there are three options global setting for ps and xbox i mean playstation forced off and forced on by default this is forced off you just have to go for ok you have to go back to the steam and try to play the game if it's not working change this to force it on then just go for ok and you have to check so once it is done you just have to go back and i mean just have to exit to the steam uh sorry i mean just have to go back once again so uh you just have to I mean just have to go back exit steam from the big picture mode okay so you just have to exit to the big picture mode and just have to go to the steam and once again you have to check out and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out